Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first edition of uh, my poetry recording session. Uh, this is a poem entitled uh, The Mysteries That Lie Within and it's dedicated to my good friend Karem for his birthday and it's basically about his massive wafro of destiny. So uh, when you're sitting comfortably, we'll begin. Karem's hair. If I were to remove it, what would I see? What dwells beneath those seemingly endless curls of wonder? I could wonder forever and still never know. I could stare for hours and be none the wiser. Lice need advisers to guide them through the mesh. If I were to dig down, how long would it take me to get to the flesh? I would fail to use a car crusher to compress it down to size and still wonder how you fit it under a hood, let alone the sky. But what great truths could we find tucked away behind the outer contours of that slow-motion explosion? What amazing artifacts could survive erosion hid deep in the airtight might of that ocean? We need to unveil the ambiguous contents of that dense garden to see what it presents us with, if not a miracle. Maybe we would see secrets that were never meant to be told. Maybe the mysteries of the Da Vinci Code would unfold. Maybe we would redefine the word wise, and before our very eyes see that which couldn't be foretold. Maybe the ground beneath our feet would shake with the power of what's inside. An earthquake would rumble the world, and we would be hurled into oblivion for a million years until extinction. Maybe we will be oblivious to the unfamiliar visions. Our simple brains cannot comprehend the sight. Our minds bend and fight against the dead-end view. And through this all, Karem would say, Curiosity killed the cat. To which we will reply, But a cat has nine lives, and those lives it must live alive until it dies for the ninth time. So alive we become, and die again from the might of the force that dwells in that mane. Seldom is seen such silky soft strands of serendipity, and yet we get to bask in their glory. They seem to tell a story of time. With each year grows another foot. With each moment the movement grows and shows no signs that it will slow. What you possess is a headdress. Hair so great that to attempt to dictate it into words would create a novel of such weight it could be used as a doorstop for heaven's gate. What exists inside need not be a mystery. The great history that this wafro possesses needs no landmarks. It, in itself, is a landmark. But maybe it's not the hair that matters. Maybe it's what stands beneath it that's important. After all, you've orbited the sun over 17 times now, an achievement which, by anyone's standards is enormous, like your wafro. So my message is this. It's not the hair that's important. It's the person it belongs to that makes our view distorted.